Hi all. We got a Dirt Devil vacuum here. It was about 40 bucks, right? Yeah. 35, something like that. Dirt Devil Power Express Compact Upright Compact Power Plus Quick Clean. Lightweight. Weighs less than 10 pounds. Powerful pickups on carpet and hard floor. Onboard toolkit. Onboard toolkit means they store these things up here so you don't have to always try and find them. Mm -hmm. Multi floor. So hard floors and carpet. Easy rinse filter. One year warranty. Easy assemble. Okay, let's see the other side. Ready, set, done. It said the same thing. <laughs> Long lasting suction, advanced performance. That's the back or the front. Six foot cleaning reach. So with the handle you can reach out six foot. Weighs less than ten pounds. Why is that important? You know, weighs less than ten pounds. Uh, I used to have a girlfriend that had her son do her vacuuming because her vacuum was so heavy it would throw her back out. <laughs> Seriously. So. Uh, rinsable filter down here, automatic height adjust, automatic, you can't set it. So. Multi floor cleaning, hard floor or carpets, easy assembly, you got to put it together, onboard tool kit, crevice device and dusting brush, quick cord release. It says lot number, but I don't know if that means style number. Lot 63. Easy empty dirt cup. So the dirt goes in there and you empty it out. There, there's no bags. You don't have to buy bags. You know, that's just nasty. Keeping the same dirt in a bag for a month or more. You know, mm -hmm. So every time you use it, you can empty it. Uh, I had a vet tell me that after you vacuum, empty it outside because if you empty it in the house trash, the fleas just jump out of the garbage can. The fleas just jump out of the garbage can. Or the dust flies through. Yeah, yeah, and the dust flies all over the air. So, A few years ago there was a, uh, a TV commercial where the fella emptied the dust bin on camera under a special light and he showed the dust flying all around the room. So. Mm -hmm. Same thing on this side. Lightweight, only 10 pounds so you can carry it up the stairs edge to edge clean so you can get close to the edges here Probably best if you put it down on the floor. You think? Yeah. There's the manual. There's the crevice tool. You know, you can get in small spaces.
there's your dusting brush. Can you see it? The crevice tool. And I guess you can't get the rest of it out without pulling it. There's not much to it. I guess you just bring the hose over here. It, when it clicks in there, so it won't come out till you want it. And there's a little button to release it. There's a sticker here. It says, uh, don't return it to the store. It says questions, live chat, dirtdevil.com, 1 800 321 1134. Okay, so pretty long cord. Yeah, let's sit this down on the floor. Show us how the handle goes on. Uh, the handle has one big screw. Oh, I didn't even need, really need the knife. It had one hole there for the bolt. Slide it down in the hole. Oh, that part goes in the back. <laughs> okay, so just uh, slide it down in the hole. That part, that little round thing goes in the back. Now we got to figure out where to put that bolt. <clears throat> and there's a hole right there. You, this comes off here like this. And then there's the other side of the... bolt. Kind of an odd screw here. Grab a Phillips. Okay, so it must go in from the other side. It's kind of an odd screw, look at that. Yeah. So just put it in there and tighten it up real slow so you don't strip it. So, what is it going? This way? Yeah. You gotta move the pipe around to get it to. Uh, line up. Okay, it's in there. Of course I'm working left-handed. <laughs> yeah, I'll switch sides with you. Well, I think it's in there.
and then if you notice it it's coming loose, tighten it up again. <laughs> yeah, don't strip it. So it don't fall on the floor. Okay, so there's some directions here on how to clean it. Clean it every time. You know, don't let the dirt sit in there. So twist the twist filter tube assembly counterclockwise to access filter assembly. Remove filter assembly from dirt cup. Twist separator counterclockwise to access filter. Well, there's the filter number. There's the belt number. There's probably a belt under here. Yeah. Belt under here. Yeah, there's a belt in there. So, uh... This hole fits over that one. There's a rubber seal there. And then this one here, there's no, well, kind of a plastic seal here. There's a filter down there. have to study the manual before you get that picture so you can figure out where it is. So how does this thing come out of here? Let's say. just pulls up just pulls up mm. it pulls up but they got a down arrow <laughs> 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 and then there's a little filter here you could probably just stick a paper towel in there it would do the same thing uh, a coffee filter piece of a coffee filter <laughs> So that just sits down there. This doesn't okay. show you how to take that out. So I guess you're on your own. You have to figure it out. That's how you empty it daily. It doesn't look like this part comes off. Well, it says lid access. Yeah, it does. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. I'll push push down just a little bit and then turn counterclockwise and that comes out of there you only take that out to clean it and then this part you can tell that moves here one on each side so you just twist that just a little bit you said you can run it under water and and let it dry for 24 hours before you put it back in there. There's another filter here. So that seems pretty delicate. I'm not, I, I don't want to mess with that. It's just a little piece of foam, something like you'd see in a shop vac, you know.
<laughs> That's gonna be delicate. Yeah. I hope they have there's, parts for it. <laughs> there's some tins here. These uh these plastic or paper. It feels like a filter. Hmm? These plastic or can you tell? Oh yeah, it's heavy duty. Like Plas plastic. plastic. So you can probably rinse those off. I don't know if I do it every day, but once every couple of weeks. We'll do another video on that once we figure out how it works. It says twist to remove. Oh, okay. So you twist to remove. Oh, that you would just replace that whole filter. See, that just goes on here like that. It's got these little four catches. So like once every few months, once every six months, just buy a new filter. You could probably put it right in the sink and wash yeah. it. As long as you let it dry. Just depends on how picky you want to be. So then this goes back in here. More complicated than you thought, huh? So, I don't remember how this goes back together. I guess you just have to play with it and look at the manual and see, figure out which what goes where. So there's these little catches here. And same thing here, little, in, little indents. Yeah, and be careful when you put it off and on so you don't break the little catches because then it's not going to stick. So that goes toward the back. This goes toward the front. So. Break it the first day, go ahead. <laughs> we don't know how strong it is yet. It might be too strong. Well, if we turn it counterclockwise to take it off, then we got to turn it clockwise to put it back on. A little tricky getting it lined up. Of course, then if you break off the little catches, take some duct tape and duct tape it on. <laughs> Especially working around the camera here. So, let's see here. So right there is one of the catches. Hmm. Shouldn't go on that hard. Well, I, I think I'm I'm fighting the bottom there too. You got to make sure that bottom part is lined up. See, I wasn't getting that bottom piece lined up, and then it slipped right in. Okay. Well, I guess once I got it in there, it fell right into place by itself. Unless it's backwards. Okay. <laughs> Got it. It has to go on here and it has to lock in there. So. so, okay. So that part goes in here. I guess for 35 bucks you can just run it till it fills up, throw it out, and get another one. <laughs> you don't have to know how to clean it. Okay. Well, I don't know how long I had the other one. I yeah. probably had it a long time. There's no there's no adjustment for uh, floor, for hard floor or carpet, but once you drop this down, what, like uh, this here is the, uh, well, there, there's no button to uh, tilt it. Okay, there's only a power button. Here there's, there's a little picture of a foot, so you just put your foot on there and pull back. Okay, and then, yeah, and then there's a power button. But what happens is, see like this is the floor, like uh, this, this is the floor adjustment.
it automatically adjusts to your floor height when you drop this back. This drops down to the floor. And uh, this thing does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, that's how the other one was. Yeah. Okay. I hope that little catch works good. Yeah. <laughs> this one goes here? Yeah. One on this side and one on that side. Okay, I'll go plug it in. Turn it on. <laughs> okay, go ahead and try it. Okay, so uh, this thing, even though it was the cheapest one, it was still picking up the rugs. You know, you try to vacuum and the rugs would flip up and it would just suck them up, you know. So uh, we doctored it up. So we'll show you what we did here. So she put a little duct tape on here, so that helped lift it up off the floor. There was a rubber, a rubber, uh, I guess you would call it like a squeegee on, on here. Plastic. We pulled that out. You could just grab it with a, a butter knife and lift it right out of there. It, it came right out easy. And then uh, she's actually got these two straws taped on there and it's still there was still a lot of suction even with that yeah. most likely those were getting pushed back Ma look see how those are yeah so when you it go was, when you go forward those were probably just getting pushed down it's sucking so hard it was yeah. pulling them back so something else we we did here was we put three holes on each side you know we we experimented we started with one hole and then a second hole on the other side and uh, we ended up going with three holes on each side so this is the side with the belt got two holes right here in the back and one hole up here in the corner so you can see up here so you can see up here there's nothing up in there you don't have to worry about hitting nothing there and uh, on this side I just guessed at it hope I didn't hit nothing <laughs> you just have to be careful you don't drill the belt. You have to put another belt on it. And then this side, it's all open, so you can see where you're drilling here. So we put one here, one there, and one there. So now it seems to work good. So do you think I need to take the straws off? So, uh...
So you can see with those holes, there's still a lot of suction. And uh, if you drill too many holes, you just put some duct tape over top of them. It's no big deal. Uh, she's talking about taking the straws out. Uh, didn't last time. See, we did this on a vacuum a few years ago too. So I remember drilling holes, but it seems like we put screws in the bottom. Now, now that you mention it. Rubber, rubber washing or something. Yeah, we, we put some silver screws here with the big heads and that gave it something to roll on. Just like one big silver screw here, one big silver screw here. So let's try it like this for a while and see what happens. It seems to be working. So they're just too powerful. You know, they made it too good. Maybe if they had a low power and high power. You know. Yeah, it's got one power. Instead yeah. Of two. And you can't raise it up. It only has one height. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Bye.